There's also, I think, one or, or two assumptions about war. Yeah. If, if you think what is now a bigger threat or what concerns you more, is that the threat of war or threat of natural disaster here? I think the threat of natural disaster is bigger at the moment, yeah, because if you see what climatologically all is, is changing, how fast it's changing, but there's still no one. I mean, all they do is worry about the crisis. You know, you got all these panicking stockholders, you bastards, uh, go like, eh, well, this country going this, this country's doing that. You know, just put a little bit of trust in these economies, they will come. It'll, it'll always come out, you know, for the struggle. But, like, really, like, uh, fighting the climate changes, I think that's more important for me. Mm -hmm. And then instead of what they're doing is, okay, ice caps are melting. So they start arguing on, oh, there's a shitload of uh, natural minerals down there. You know, so they go, oh, this is Russian territory, is it American territory, or the Chinese come in with their boats? And instead of thinking, okay, you know, uh, it's, it's better to think of why the hell is there so many ice melting and, and, and take precautions, you know, they just don't do anything. Mm -hmm. So I think the, natural, the threat of, natural, of, of a natural disaster is more close than the threat of war. Because if you have, there won't be a big war as, as World War II or something, because the superpowers, there's still a balance, like when it comes to, you know, you still have atomic weapons. But um, I don't think they, will, they both would like that. Mm -hmm. They know both that it's, the end of the world. Yeah, right? that's, that's, that's like a, you know, yeah, like a catastrophe complete. And they, they don't want, it's just now the only threat of war is from little dictators, you know, like may they be religious or, or just power minds in general. Yeah, well, and that's where, you know, we then interfere as, as, as a, like a global power in military, you know. Less. Do you, yeah, of course, these, these, these are themes that, that work well with the music, but is there for you also a little bit important to, to bring these topics under attention, maybe through the music, or is that... Yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. I mean, it's just a thing that, I mean, I'm interested in. It's not that Asterix is a political band, not at all. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe people, people start wondering by reading a certain lyric, go like, okay, why the hell did this happen? And I mean, if I, if, if, if I even, if there's even one person like taking it seriously and maybe improves something, okay, that's good. You know, then I achieved something. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not that I go, okay, I want to... Preach or anything? No, I'm, I'm, not, a, no, I'm not a preacher, not at all. Stating no. things. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, well, last uh, thing. Um, of course, the, the latest album is already, it, it's pretty fresh still, but how do you will see the, this continuing? Uh, are you already writing new material or do you really take it easy in your own pace? No, I mean first we have, a, we have a really lots of shows this year. We go mm -hmm. basically everywhere uh, except for America, but America is really tough to play there as a death metal band nowadays anyway. Why is that do you think? Because the market, the, death metal, the old school death metal market is completely collapsed. There's no real scene. There's just actually there's a nice festival, the Maryland Death Fest, but it's not like this or like the German Fest where there's like 10,000 attendants. Mm -hmm. uh, the Maryland is about 3,000, but that's where you have all the fanatics from uh, North America get there. And mm -hmm. if you, yeah, if you would, you could play some shows in like in New York one or something, but if you go in, 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 um, in the middle of the United States, you won't get more than 100 people. It's not very so economical. it's not, yeah, it's absolutely and not economical. And, and the rest of the world is okay, really, when it comes mm -hmm. to metal shows. So we do have a lot of shows in Finland, or not in Finland, but uh, yeah, we have a lot of shows throughout Europe. Uh, in, every, in basically every country that's there. But for you, yeah, you have now the rest of the year, the year planned with, with the shows, but yeah. do you write and, and, and play and perform at the same time, or is that something that you take uh, each No, you already are writing. Yeah. I mean, there's already came in new ideas. I had a great idea last, uh, last week for, uh, for a couple of songs, really. So I, um, I told that to the boys, never really enth enthusiastic about it, and Paul's got some new riffing, so you know, just keep on working. I mean, if you have ideas that come in, you know, you just, uh, more or less, you put them on the shelves for, uh, yeah, for when you start working on a new album. And if you write songs before that, yeah, well, you know, you're ahead of things, it's good. And theme-wise, do you have some, uh, some things that you will go with the songs? Yeah, but I'm not saying anything about it because it's like an idea that I have and uh, I'm really, um, yeah, it's a really wonderful one this time, but okay. More I mean, special than um, before, maybe? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a special one, yeah. But uh, I just dug up, I just had the idea last week and I was like, boom, there's something in this head that, uh, you know, I just had to share with you fellas and they all were like, wow, it's incredible, Martin, it's a really good idea, but that's for next album. Will there be a concept album then? Is that no, because the concepts I only do with the bullets, but it will be a couple of songs that I will have the concept, you know, like um, where this particular topic will have a, as a red line, but I don't want to make a whole album. Could be, who knows. 
just depends. It's too early to say now. Yeah. We'll get yeah. back maybe then uh, <laughs> until that time. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome.